So today's video actually started out as a what I think review video, but with a twist. In it, I was going to review some ideas that I had for future B and M triple pack releases. But then I thought this could be a great opportunity for a new challenge. So welcome to the B and M challenge. For those unaware, the B and M triple packs are re-releases of existing figures, but sometimes with a slightly new variant. So this challenge is to come up with a new triple pack, but it must contain existing figures or new variants of existing figures. To show you what I mean, here are some examples that I came up with myself. And I would also like to give a big shout out to James Blowers of DWTODWFA for these B and M box scans for which I could make these from. Firstly, we have a Planet of Fire triple pack in which we have the Fifth Doctor and Ainley Master from the single carded Planet of Fire release, along with a Perry Brown figure from the Caves of Androzani set. And funnily enough, there was a now confirmed fake screenshot of a similar Fifth Doctor set making the rounds on the internet earlier this year. Next we have a Caves of Androzani box set, once again featuring Perry but this time also Sharaz Jack and the highly sought after Regeneration Sixth Doctor. Then we have a Silver Nemesis pack with the Seventh Doctor and Ace and of course a Silver Nemesis Cyberman but with a variant recoloring to look a bit closer to how it appeared in the episode. And lastly, we have two 11th Doctor packs. Firstly, a Time of the Angels slash Flesh and Stone pack with Angel Bob, the Jacketless 11th Doctor, and the Projected Weeping Angel. And secondly, a Closing Time box set with, using one of my own customs as a base, a variant of the Jacketless 11th Doctor and two Cybermen. So that gives you a kind of idea of just the thing I'm after. But before everyone goes rushing off to start on their designs, there are, of course, some challenge rules. Number one only existing figures can be used. There is nothing against recoloring an existing figure, i.e. a sixth doctor, but with a recolored waistcoat and tie to make an ultimate foe variant. But any entries that include new or as yet unreleased designs, such as a Nightmare in Silver Cyberman, will not be eligible for entry. Number two, no new slash swapped parts. In a way, this is linked to the previous rule, in that changing the color scheme of a figure is fine, but swapping over parts, for example, a seventh doctor serious head on a sixth doctor body to create a regeneration figure, or a sleeker redesign of the tenth planet Cyberman to make a new series 10 version with a new head sculpt, is not allowed. You can only use existing figures with their existing parts and you cannot swap over parts from other figures in order to create new figures or add in newly sculpted parts. Number three, no new accessories and for existing accessories only include one. If an existing figure comes with an accessory then by all means include it in your entry but you cannot create new accessories. And if a figure such as the Silver Nemesis Ace comes with multiple accessories then you can only choose one to be included in your set. So choose wisely. Number four, only figures. No Daleks. I'm sure many people, myself included, would love to see B&M release triple packs of Daleks. But for now, the B&M triple packs are just figures. So for the sake of keeping this challenge simple, I have decided to instigate my No Dalek rule. If a Dalek appears in your entry, then I'm sorry, but it won't be entered into the challenge. Number five, one design per entry. If you want to submit multiple designs, then please do. It would be great to see what people can come up with. However, you must be specific in which one of your triple packs you wish to enter into the challenge. Any entries of multiple designs without this stipulation will not be entered into the challenge. And equally, please don't send me multiple designs and then just ask me to pick my favorite. I want you to choose which one you enter, not me. And lastly, number six, have a running theme. There is no restriction on whether it's an old series or new series pack. It could be either. It could even be a combination of both like another pack of monsters or a pack of doctor variants or a pack relating to a specific episode, anything like that. But give the pack an overall theme. Don't just go with these are three figures variants that I would like to see re-released and then have a pack with some random selection like the Brigadier, an impossible set 11th Doctor and a series four Time Lord but with a gold collar for some variation. If you need inspiration on that front then take a look back in the video at my earlier examples or even the sets that we've already had released or look for three figures that have already been released and or could be repainted into a new variant that come together to form the basis for a specific episode. And so those are the rules. I get the feeling that some people might disagree with some of my rules and I apologize if this limits some people's creativity but the idea for this challenge is I want you to create something 
that might actually be released in future as a BNM triple pack. And whilst with the official triple pack releases, it's always possible that they may make some updated minor sculpting changes in future. Thus far, almost all of the BNM releases have been existing figures with some minor design changes. So in keeping with that idea, the rules are in place to ensure that this challenge just doesn't become a free for all that lets people include any figure they want or new figures entirely. There is one more half rule, which is if you can include a picture of your figures slash variants or a good written interpretation of what you would like to see, then please do so. I appreciate that not everyone is good with Photoshop, so I don't want to make the need of a picture an official rule. But the more I can visualize your pack idea through a picture or a good description, the better. Also, you don't have to mock up boxes like I did for mine. If you want to, then by all means do, but for those without good Photoshop skills, don't worry. I'm not looking for the best visual design, but the best idea. Now, there are several ways that you can enter. Number one, email me your entry. You can find my email address here on YouTube under my about page and be sure to mark your subject title in the below manner. Number two, you can tweet me your entry with the hashtag hashtag BM challenge to help me find the designs and entries more easily or you can drop me a message with it via my Facebook page. Number three, if you're watching this video on Whovians or the daily TARDIS Aminos then just create a new blog with your entry but be sure to include the hashtag hashtag BM challenge so that I can find your entry more easily. The closing date for this challenge is the 16th of December so be sure to get your entries in before that date. Now depending on the amount of entries I receive there will be two different ways I announce the winner. Number one in the event of getting very few entries I will simply announce the winner on my Christmas show on the 25th of December. Or number two in the event of getting quite a few entries I will pick three finalists and announce them on my Christmas show. But after that the winner will be decided by the general public. Because once the finalists have been announced, I will create a Twitter thread which will show all the entries, but alongside it will run a poll with the question, which of these would you like to see become a reality? The poll will run for a week and the final winner will be decided by the outcome of the poll. And of course, no challenge would be complete without a prize. And the prize is a 375 new series Dalek. The, okay, it's not much of a prize, I know, but that's because when the winner gets it, it won't look like a normal 375 Dalek. Because as the prize, I will repaint this 375 Dalek in a colour scheme of their own choosing, and to authenticate it as one of my customs, I will also sign the base of it. And I will just say as well that it's possible the prize may change, because I am trying to plan a special mystery prize. However, I stress to add that that may not pan out. So should the mystery prize not come to anything, the 375 custom painted Dalek will always be the base prize. That is not going anywhere. And that brings to a close the end of this video and thusly opens this challenge. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. There is an exclusive webcomic and rewards for people who support it. And the funding generated by my Patreon helps me fund future videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.